Um, yeah, so here we are in Mark's office. Uh, just got back from Amsterdam. We're all jet lagged and, well, at least I am. I don't know about you, but <laughs> yeah, you. jet lagged and tired and um, full of Xbox 360 memories. So we're gonna let's go through the games. Uh, I was pretty relieved about Perfect Dark Zero. I thought it was I thought it was good. I thought the controls were really solid. The graphics were uh, really impressive, uh, and the the whole co-op. All the different co-op options are really, really cool. I mean, how many different parts there are to each single player level that you only see on the different difficulties or only see when you're doing co-op. Like, that stuff actually got me excited about it. I played it and I realized, you know, it was like, this game can be the killer app. I, I wasn't sure up until that point. I was like, I don't know, Rare, you know, maybe they don't have it anymore. Yeah. But it felt good. That's that's the thing that I was worried about most, and it felt really good. So. Yeah. I, I think people are still going to be complaining about the art style. Like, people have been complaining about Rare's art style for years. And, like, the graphics, yeah, they're better than they looked in the initial screens. They're better than they looked in some of the more recent screens, too. But, like, when it goes to third person and you see Joanna Dark, she still kind of looks a little funky at times. It's, like, it's not really as polished as we're used to from, you know, some of these killer app games. I don't know. I saw, um, I, you know, I, I played today, and I, I saw right. some levels today that were, like, that looked really good. I mean, that, yeah. they, they looked next gen, you know. Right, but it's more technologically than artistically, right? Yeah. I, mean, I, I would agree know. a little bit with that. I think, like, uh, uh, some people have kind of mixed opinions about it still. A lot of people are expect expecting a Halo out of it. And although it does have some similarities, it moves... It feels a lot like Halo. Yeah, it moves yeah. slowly. It's kind of a deliberate... Um, game a lot of the the weapon a lot of the keys are the same a lot of the right. buttons are set up the same it, it but it isn't of course Halo at the end of the day and so I think on its own merits though it's like one of the better looking launch titles. That was excellent. Um, you know I I played it pretty much the whole time I was there. <laughs> I was I, I probably should have been playing other games. But <laughs> that, that game was uh, you know it's basically. Uh, a proper next gen game. I yeah. think you know, I think it's like I think it really shows off the power of the system. Um, they nailed the, the the drift physics and everything. So um, didn't really have a good um, like overall picture of like how the spectator mode will work. And they're hmm. supposed to be able to get like hundreds of people watching one game or something. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. Maybe that that's been scrapped. But um, I'm kind of looking forward to that. Yeah, it seemed like everybody. That was the one game almost everybody agreed upon. Um, it's it's almost kind of predictable because like when has there been a bad uh, Project Gotham Racing, but it, it, it looks really good. Yeah. Everyone's really impressed. You know, the frame rate is smooth, the graphics are, are really sharp, really super realistic, yeah. super detailed, and uh, I mean you just you have total confidence in the gameplay too. Dude, I was like screwing around today just doing donuts and stuff, and I was looking at the um, spectators on the side, you know, um, right. by the barricades, yeah. and like every single one of them was like a 3D model. Oh yeah, if you go in in yeah. Japan, they're all Japanese, yeah, they're all exactly. wearing like Japanese t-shirts yeah. and, and stuff like that. They yeah. jump away from the side when you yeah. crash into it. Yeah, it's right. it's it's pretty impressive. <laughs> Cameo, like Microsoft <laughs> is positioning Cameo as the 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 sleeper hit or the dark horse or like the game that's gonna blow everyone away. I mean, I, I've been getting that message from so many people, yeah, well, but I'm still not buying all the way, it. Okay. From PR to yeah. Jay Aller to Peter Moore, it's like everyone got their talking points, and it's like push can push the cameo. Like Perfect Dark's gonna take care of itself. Project Gotham is really gonna take care of itself. Right. No one really knows about Cameo still at this late date, so I think it's like we got to get this. It's weird. Like we um, we all got there, and it was like it was just a bunch of press people this morning, and we um, they made us sit down around these like three sixties. We're sitting there like, okay, now what? And like, so he had a step by step, told us how to turn on the three sixty and everything, and then we played Cameo. Like right. it was like they here, made you play play, play cameo, cameo right now. Yeah. Part of its problem is more what we were talking about with Perfect Dark Zero, like times a hundred. So it could be a very cool game, but looking the way it looks, like, you know, at some point you're like a plant with boxing gloves does, on. It does yeah. look really good. I mean, technically though, the graphics are insanely good. Like, right. I was looking at it today and I was like, this is next gen. This is like high res, you know, 3D world, like CG quality. Peter Moore is talking about playing it with his 12-year-old daughter. It's like, well, that's great, but I don't have a 12-year-old daughter. Like, do, do I? Should I care about it online? That's thing? the exact thing I've been talking about recently. No one knows what Cameo is. Like, it's a platformer, yes, but, like, you fly around, 
you attack things with boxing gloves, no one knows what cameo is. Like, it's, there's so many different parts of it that it's very hard to see them all come together until you play it for like an extended period of time. Right. Yeah, I will say they have had a long... Uh, I mean, that game was almost was, was, was pretty much done on the original Xbox, so they've had a long time to think about it, mm-hmm. polish it, tweak it. It could, it could be good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying I, I'm not very much into the visual style, but... Um, it's very much a question mark for me at this point. I'll still. check it out just because I'm a graphics for him, so. This is it, the island of the skull. There is an island where men... King Kong actually, from what I've seen of it, I would point to as an example of a, of a very good looking Xbox game that is only like looks slightly higher res on the 360. Um, Ooh, I disagree. Yeah, Cuz like if you've seen the PC version, like they released a demo the other day, that looks like a slightly higher res version of the Xbox game. The 361 looks better than that. 361 has all kinds of like more shininess. It's got like all these rain effects. It's got I don't I don't know technically like if it's pushing a lot of more polygons and all that. I didn't look that closely, but like just did a brief glimpse. It looks definitely a lot better. It looks, it looks a lot better. Really, I, I just I found it to be. Very, I wasn't. I mean, super hard. I mean, like yeah. I just that T Rex ate me like <laughs> any chance it had. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't get away from that. Yeah, thing, I've heard so. actually a lot of people have that complaint from the demo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think that I think it looks good as an Xbox game, but I'm not really impressed by the 360 as far as the jump from from the Xbox game. I mean, I haven't seen the PC mm. version, but. Um, I actually, you know, that and Gun, I think, were my two games where it was like, okay, these are, these could, you know, very well be very good games, but I don't see the jump from their current generation Tony consoles Hawk. to Tony the Hawk. next. Totally the other one. Tony Hawk is, yeah, is like, is even its own story. Like, Tony Hawk, I don't even think, looks, looks like a good yeah. r- Xbox <laughs> game. Impressive looking games, Gears of War. Um, right, yeah, Gears I mean, of War. It continues to blow me away every time I see a new level. Like every time Cliffy B shows off a new lighting effect, I'm just like, dude, this is. It almost looks yeah. like it, it. almost looks like it's for a different system. Like it's so it's so far ahead yeah. of what you're seeing on the other stuff. It's so early right now. It look. I mean, the the gameplay what we've seen does look fairly straightforward. You know, third person. Sh- or, sh- shooting stuff i mean right potentially well everything was scripted in that like one you know warehouse level right but i mean we've seen like two chunks of two levels you know and it's like a year away so i I mean yeah you know what x05 they showed was a lot different than the stuff they showed at e3 like maybe not in terms of what you're shooting at but in terms of like how the pacing is set and like what you're seeing as you go around it was like drastically different speaking of drastically different um Ghost Recon 3. The president is safe. Entrance is and exit to lockdown. I will say this. When I saw it, you know, we've all seen that teaser trailer that I, that I think looked pretty video, good, the yeah. Target video. And then when you first see it, it's like, what the hell? It's not It's not that. In right. fact, it, it's not even near that at times. Well, it, it's just the, it's, like, the textures are terrible, like, blocky, like... I mean, it looks. It's uh, to me, it looks like obviously not done, and that's why I'm glad at right. the delay announcement. But I will say, I didn't want to play it as much. But when I did pick it up and start playing yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. actually a lot of the fun. The multiplayer was a lot of fun too. So, I just you know, it was just my dream was shattered. That's right. I mean, I, at E3, I had a dream. <laughs> <laughs> that dream well, was... I think it's also these target videos. Like, if you look at the Madden target video versus what the actual game looks like, it's yeah. pretty damn significant but then if you look at the ghost recon target video versus the real game obviously the quality is lower but the actual like graphic style and what the overall thing looks like is very similar it's not it doesn't like take it in a completely different direction it's obviously it's like the same kind of look that they were going for oblivion does it have to be playable if it does then prod Perfect Dark or NBA 2K6. NBA 2K6 look a lot better than I was uh, expecting it to. Actually, you, you you bring up Oblivion. I'm I'm a little worried about that game. I was actually a fan of Morrowind. Don't hate you. But especially if that game is coming good. out launch day, like there was a lot of stuttering, Buzzing, a lot of. Yeah. I mean, I I'm totally into the game concept. I think the game looks gorgeous, like right. in still screens, but moving, it's just not but, near fluid at all, and it's 
choppy and it's affecting gameplay. Okay, it has some stuttering, but the thing um, the thing that I found impressive was that the melee felt better because I don't know if there was like a physics system going on now. Because when you're swinging stuff, you almost feel like a, a you know knockback when you hit something. So it's not like you're just going through, you're just like clipping through right, rats and right. stuff. Well, yeah. I was just killing rats and zombies, and that was really fun. So um, there's 16 miles of terrain to explore. <laughs> suppose it was 60. 16. I was corrected by the developer. Oh, okay. On Gaff, <laughs> yes, of all things. <laughs> he checks Gaff. For me, there wasn't, um, I think it, like, it was a common sentiment, there wasn't one like just blew me away like out of the water. A lot of the announcements, I think, got me really excited. Peter but Jackson. Yeah, it, well, Peter, it's my Mass Effect from Bioware, um, uh, Wolfenstein, but in terms of the games that were there and playable are going to be at launch, I think I'm easily most excited for Perfect Dark Zero. Um, I'm really into the co-op stuff, yeah. especially being able to play that online over Xbox Live. Um, and I, yeah, I just had a really good time, and it was, you know, not even at home in my comfortable chair on my big TV. And also with the non-playable stuff, too human. Uh, they, like the trailer was, you know, it's hard to tell much from it, but like what they were talking about in their little uh, beside the little demo rooms that they were talking about it, it, it sounds like super ambitious. It's got like all kinds of crazy new camera and control control schemes and all this stuff. And, if it turns out like half as good as they say it, it will be, then it could be Better cool. Than Halo 3. <laughs> 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 guns. 